Hi guys, so um, next part of best of the best series and this is going to be cheek products so this is going to include highlighter, blush and bronzer. I guess we'll go ahead and get started. Let's work from the highest part of the cheeks to the lowest so we'll do highlighter first. Um, let's just go ahead and get my favorite out of the way because I mean you guys probably know what's coming if you've been watching me for a while. Um, the Dior uh, Shimmer Powder, it's the Shimmer Powder and 002 Amber Diamond. Looks like this. I'm wearing it right now. I put it on for this video on my cheekbones. Don't know how much you can tell, but that's the thing is it's not a very strong noticeable highlight um, and so it, it makes it okay to wear you know during the day and it's not like a really strong highlight um, whereas something that's very very shimmery can often look very heavy and maybe a little bit more appropriate for like the clubs or something like that but um, just the, f the formula of this powder I know that some people just don't see the big deal about it some people actually really dislike this product but I've never found another highlighter that I like as much because I have a lot of texture issues on my cheekbones I have uneven skin texture and uh, large pores and things like that this is one of the only powders that doesn't really, really emphasize my pores, and I think that's because it's such a refined shimmer. Uh, I believe this has like a $44 price tag or something very extreme, but I really do think it's worth it. I've had mine for over a year, going on like a year and a half now, and you can still see the imprint is like perfectly in there, and it's, it's hardly used. Um, I will swatch it for you guys. It's right here. And as you can see, it's not like a heavy metallic finish. It's not even a heavy shimmer finish. And when you blend it out, it just gives the most beautiful, like, golden... But still, yeah, it is like an amber, so it's more of like a peachy, almost kind of sheen. Um, but it's not too light either, which sometimes very light highlighters can look chalky and a little frightening. So, Dior Amber Diamond, my love. I will make love to this product. I really will. Next, um... This is actually one of my favorite like liquid highlighting products because I prefer to use powders. Um, even though liquids probably are better for my texture issues, I just, I'm a very stubborn person and I like powders the most. This is the e.l.f. Shimmering Facial Whip in the colors called Lilac Petal, which is a little bit of a strange color. And actually the packaging is really cheap. I had to scotch tape the edge because there was a hole and I shook it one day and it literally went flying everywhere all over my mirror all over my camera lens it went everywhere um, I actually use this in my kit I'm not a makeup artist so I don't have a kit but I just keep this in my train case where I keep makeup that's like what I use when I do other people's makeup if they ask me to because I like this so much it's a very thin liquid so it's easy to work with I find heavy creams especially when in highlighters can often be very difficult to work with whereas this one's very smooth and almost feels like an oil but when you blend it out it turns into like a very thin cream product it's a very stark highlighter if you use too much of it you can obviously tell where it is and it does have a little bit of like a blue sheen to it which is strange it's not blue but it does have like a cooler I don't know if you can tell it's got like a cooler finish to it but I really like it like I mean I'm very picky about like I have to have like a gold highlighter that's my preference and but I wear this all the time myself like I kinda steal it out of my train case and use it for myself which I don't think is that bad because it's not like I I'm using it out of a compact or anything, um, but you get a lot of product. This is going to last a long time, and uh, I actually like to set this with just like a regular shimmering gold eyeshadow or something um, that I use on the eyes as well, just to sort of like combine everything and um, match it up. But yeah, it's a really good highlighter. I like it. Um, this is a dollar from Target Stores or EyesLipsFace.com. I believe this is the last highlighting product that I really that really just comes to mind. Uh, a very recent purchase actually and it's the Laura Mercier Secret Brightener and this is in number two. It's one of those like clicker type pens which you know Yves Saint Laurent has one, Dior has their like skin flash which is supposed to suck. Um, Milani makes their HD but it's more of a concealer. This doesn't offer really coverage at all. It's more of like a highlighting product but I do find that putting it over under eye concealer just sort of helps to cover everything and brighten everything a little bit more so it really does its job which is why I like it and the shade is also very nice as well um, it's quite a pinky tone which normally I prefer golden tones when it comes to highlighter but I think since this is meant to be used under the eyes something that is a little bit more pink toned can be beneficial so I put it right here 
don't know if you're gonna be able to differentiate between that and the uh, elf one. But as you can see, it's not a very extreme highlight either. The e.l.f. one, I think, is the most noticeable shimmer, and this is a lot smoother of a texture. Um, and I also really like it because I got a really good deal on it from um, All Cosmetics Wholesale. It's a I bought I paid eleven dollars for this, and it costs thirty regularly. This is in the shade number two, by the way. Um, I believe shade number one is like a lot lighter gold, whereas this is more of like a peach pink. This is really nice and very portable and very easy to use. You twist it up, put it on the areas, blend it out, and you're good to go. So, really like this product. So let's move to blush. I'm very picky with blush. I don't really like shimmery blushes because, I again, I have texture issues. But my favorite blush ever is MAC Desert Rose, which mine is broken, and I've mentioned that many times before. I bought the pan form. Damn phone. Hopefully you can't hear the answering machine, but I'm just going to talk over it. I bought the pan form, not in a pot. Normally it would come in, imagine this a lot smaller, closer to like this size, but just looking like this if you've never seen a MAC blush before. Um, but basically I bought the pan form trying to save money, but uh, the pan shattered and if it was in the pot it would have been a lot more protected. But the reason I like this blush so much is because A, it's a matte. B, it's pigmented. C, it is the color that I naturally turn when I have a little warmth. Like, okay, I don't know if you can tell my ears. My ears are a little red because it's hot. The color is basically the same. Don't know how well you can tell, but if I were to put the blush on, on my ears, you wouldn't be able to tell that I was wearing blush on my ears. It's the exact color I turn when I flush. And it's a really pretty color. It's got like a little bit of an orangey tone to it, but it is a dusty rose for the most part. It's not dusty as in like texture wise. It doesn't make your skin look ashy or dry or anything, but it's just like a very like, wait, it's called, <gasps> no. Do you see this? Look at what just happened. It just went everywhere. Jesus Christ. Oh, my luck. Well, that was basically the most tragic thing that's ever happened to me. Well, I mean, it's probably about time that I just mash it up and use it like a loose powder, but like, oh, it lasted so long since I repressed it. Anyway, this is what it looks like now. Rest in peace, MAC Desert Rose. Um, it's my favorite blush ever. It looks good no matter what time of, time of year that I'm wearing it. Blah, blah, blah. I'm not saying that you should buy a blush that just because it's the natural color that you flush, like that's the blush you have to buy. But I just like it because it looks more natural. And I don't want to have like walk into school with bright orange cheeks. Um, maybe for Halloween or like on when I'm going out. But like I don't like to draw extra attention to myself. Who am I kidding? I love that. Next blush. And the only other one that I'm going to mention is... Uh, from Sleek Makeup, and it's called Life's a Peach, which is funny because, like, life's a bitch, but life's a peach because, so it's this bright, um, well, it is a, an orange color. I said I didn't want to walk into school with bright orange cheeks, but I do wear this from time to time. Very rarely, though. Uh, I just like this because it does add that nice warmth to my face and works well with my golden undertone to my skin, and it's just a very fresh-looking cheek. Like, it just makes you look healthy and naturally kind of flushed and radiant. Um, this is one of the only sleek blushes though that isn't on the more pigmented side. It is more sheer so you kind of have to build it up but that's good because that means you're not going to overdo it and I just dug my nail into it. I'm done. I'm just breaking all my blushes today. And I'm out of tissues too. What is, what is happening to my life? Did I do something wrong? Huh? Did I do something wrong? Oy vey. Baranza. Well, this is like a hybrid of both. This is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in Dark. And I sort of use this as like a blush bronzer hybrid. Um, the color, it's got a nice gold sheen to it, a very natural golden sheen, but it's a very orangey terracotta color. It's right here. Can you see that nice sheen that it has to it because it is a mineralized product? Um, it's not shimmer, but it's a nice skin finish okay 
Sorry, I had to sit cross-legged now. I purchased this when I was in Sydney, Australia about two years ago, and I don't know that if the Real Mineralized Skin Finish Natural um, in the shade Dark sold in America looks like this, but I believe what happened was they formulated it in Sydney, or it was imported to Sydney, and then I brought it back here to the American Smoggy Houston Air and it turned to this orange color. But I believe if you're like, if you're a woman of color, like if you are Indian or something of that similar skin tone, this could be very nice for you because it does have that sort of more orangey tone that you can use under your eyes or any dark places that you have. But I've had this for two years, love it. I mean, the dome is still sort of on it, but I, I really like the look of this. Um, not, on all, not all over, but just on my, my cheeks and bronze areas. Okay, bronzer. Um, Hula by Benefit. I have not purchased a full size yet. I've had this little sample size for like almost a year and I mean I use it and it hasn't really gone down. A lot of you guys probably already know what Hula is. A lot of you probably own it as well. It's a nice matte bronzer that um, matte meaning, if you don't know what matte means, um, it has no shimmer to it, no sheen, it's just flat. Personally I am for both matte and shimmery blushes. I think they both serve a completely different purpose and I think you should have one of each um, or depending on what you want to do, you know what I mean? So I put this right here. It's a nice matte bronzer. It's a lot darker and less orange than this skin finish. It does have a nice sort of like a, almost like a, a golden chocolate, a golden milk chocolate. Um, anyway, I know Julia really loves this. She uses it in almost every video and it, and very well so because it just it's a very nice uh, bronzer to use for a very natural contour um, and to add a little color and dimension to your face without looking a little too forced or a little too sculpted or too orangey or anything like that. It's just a nice balance of everything. Um, and it is matte, so if you are someone who does not like shimmery bronzers, Hula is the way to go. So this has lasted me a while and as soon as that runs out then I'll go buy a full size. I feel like this is worth mentioning. I haven't been using it long enough to ca call it like an absolute drop dead favorite, but it is a good, good product for what it is. This is the Revlon Photo Ready Bronzer and it's in number 100 Bronzed and Chic. Apparently it's new. It's got four different tones of bronzer. Well, three because this side is pretty much they're very, very close in tone. You wouldn't be able to tell a huge difference. And they're all matte, which is very exciting. It's got a mirror and this piece of shit little brush that probably sucks. I mean, I'm sure you could use it. Let's use it right now. I'm going to use this side because this side right here is a little bit too pink and this is more on the golden side. So I'm going to use a little bit of that. Very pigmented product as well. I mean, if you were in a pinch, this could be good, but I would probably just use like a big fluffy brush like this for a nice overall bronze or if you wanted to be more directional, something more in the shape of this. But if you're in a pinch or in a predicament where you just need to put some bronzer on and you don't have a brush, this could be good. I like that this is matte because there aren't that many matte drugstore bronzers. The only other one I can think of, well there's two, NYC Sunny, which I've never tried, and I think it's like the Rimmel, Rimmel Natural Bronzer and Sunlight, I think is what it's called. Um, that is a more pink tone, so it's more something that's closer to this shade. Um, and I can't use pink bronzers, or pink tone bronzers, it'll look odd on my skin tone. So I need something a little golden. but. I mean, swirling this all together gives you a nice neutral balance. So, you know, if you're neutral toned, you can use all this. Or if you're golden toned, you can use... I mean, you can use... Anybody can use all of the shades mixed together. It's just how you use it. So, um, yeah, I really like the golden side. I don't use the pink side as much. But this is nice to, like... If you're wearing a blush and the bronzer, this can be a nice transition product or color in between those two. So I don't know how well you can tell, and I'm probably, I gotta go to work in a little bit. 13 bucks though I paid for this, like are you kidding? Like, this is supposed to be drugstore, this is not like Sephora on 50% off, this is drugstore. Anyway, and then the last product, which I really like, so many people, there's like this whole, like, lifelong political debate on this product, which is NARS Laguna. Um, a lot of people love it, a lot of people hate it, Every, a lot of people say it's like too shimmery, a lot of people say, no, it's very subtle. I'm one of those people where 
I think it is on the more subtle side, but the shimmer that it does have just works and it's beautiful. So where am I going to put this? Up here. So I don't know if you can see this right here. It's similar to the idea of this mineralized skin finish, but it's not on not so much orange as more as it is like a bronze color, but it does have that nice sheen to it. I think this is great to put on any places of your face that you want to sort of like bring out and look very like you just came back from the beach. This is the product to do it with because it does have that nice sheen. You're going to get a highlighted look as well as a bronze look. Why is the sun going away? Come back to me. Well, anyway. Um, plus you got a big ass mirror. This is great to bring um, traveling with you, especially to the beach. You could use this as your makeup mirror and be like, ooh, I got a bronze too. This is my favorite product to put on my eyelids as well. Like if I don't want to wear eyeshadow out, then I'll just take some type of brush. I don't know. And the shimmer is nice on it as well. So it's a great product. I really recommend it. It is what, $33, which is expensive. But, um, let's see, I've had mine for quite some time now, and, uh, still haven't really made a dent in it. And it's amazing. So I really love it. Okay, so that was my cheek product type of video for you guys today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I think the next one is going to be... Eyes? Yeah, we'll do eyes next. So that's gonna be, that's gonna be a long-ass video. I'm just preparing you. It's gonna be like primers, eyeshadows, eyeliners, mascaras, glitter, who knows, you'll just have to find out. I think I'm going to do two videos a week, um, so I can be a consistent uploader. Yeah, so I gotta go get changed for work, um, and then I will edit this, get it up by Thursday. I think I'm going to upload Mondays and Thursdays, split it up evenly. Um, but yeah, I will talk to everyone later. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter too, because I do, I'm starting to tweet more. And if you want to read my randomness in my lyrics, I quote a lot of lyrics and I say a lot of stupid things. And then on Instagram, I'm always posting pictures of like makeup and stuff. So I'll include those links below. This is like the first time I've asked anyone to like, oh my God, follow me, subscribe to me. If you want to subscribe to me, hey, do it. I hit 500 recently. That's exciting. So uh, anyway, so I will talk to all you guys later. Bye bye.